Bonjour, Kinemage and Ine Ireland Adjnikas, and welcome to this math tier two intervention. Today's edition, reteach 3.10. We'll begin this lesson by looking at our the answers to reteach nine. If you have this available, you should compare your answers. This part we had worked together. And really the key idea the one was placing the first digit. And we had talked about does eight go into seven? No. So we go into the next number to the right, 72. And that means we have to put our nine over the two in 72, not over the seven in 70. We're at 59, because six won't go into three, but it'll go into 35 five times. And then we go back about our standard algorithm. Seven won't go into five, but it will go into 56 eight times. We go about our standard algorithm. So hopefully you did pretty well on this. Anytime that you struggle, you always should be reaching out to your teacher. All right, so today's edition, quotients with zeros. You might get an answer if something goes into something 102 times, and that's okay. So let's start with this example here. A company ships 420 model helicopters. Each box holds four model helicopters. How many boxes do they need? So we know that we're gonna be dividing 420 by four. And we can get an estimate here, just to get a rough idea when we check our work. Four goes into something. Yes, four will go into 42, not, but not evenly. We'd have to go 400 or 440. Let's go 400 and we get 100. So step one, we're gonna model 420 using base 10 blocks. 100, 200, 300, 400, 410 and 420. We need to divide them into equal groups. And this begins with easy enough as there were one, two, three, four hundreds blocks. So each one goes in the group, but these two groups of 10 will need to be regrouped into 21s. And then I can put them Start spreading around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I look and there's one group of 100. There are no 10s, so I need a zero there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or none in ones, 105. If I just put the one in the five, that would suggest 15. And 15 times four is 60, far off from 420. So let's divide 327 divided by three. Let's do this one together. I want you to write this in as we go. And we'll do it off on the side here. Three into, th well, we put it right here. How many times is three going to three? One time. Three times one is three. I subtract three minus three is zero. I bring down the two because zero is less than three. Will three go into two? No. Can I just leave it and move on? No, I need to put a zero here. Zero times three is zero. Because anytime you multiply something by zero, it's automatically zero. So I get a two. Two is still less than three. So I go ahead and I bring down, I get seven. Three will go into 27 nine times. So I put it over the ones. Nine times three is 27. So I get a zero and it's 109. As you go through these problems, you'll notice that four will go into eight, but we'll go into two. Five will go into six and it'll go into 11, 15, but will five go into two? The answer to those obviously is you're going to need some zeros. I would like you to do numbers two and three. Uh, you can do it with us during Zoom. 
or if you're watching this video, chances are you missed out on the Zoom and are just trying to get an opportunity to catch up to this. Um, there will be answers in our next edition. As always, if you have any questions, you're getting stuck, please reach out to Ireland at sidechipschool.net. We can schedule opportunities to get together and talk about this content. As an intervention, it's important that you're keeping up, but it's ideal if you can meet with me directly. So you may say, Mr. I, can we meet at 1.50 each day and spend 10 minutes before office hours? And the answer would probably be absolutely yes. Um, so consider reaching out. Uh, I don't want you doing these alone. These videos here are to give you that opportunity if you miss a session, um, not to be a complete replacement for interventions. So without further ado, I wish you a minute, God. Bama P.